All right, I wanted to, to come in and talk about materials for punching holes. I don't have, um, I have some thoughts so far with how my project is going. If any of the 17 people who subscribe are seeing this, thank you so much. Welcome anyone else. Uh, or hi me if I'm just keeping this up for myself, but uh, who ha anyone who has been following this, part of why I wanted to post um, this whole project I'm working on is because I've seen this kind of done, but uh, not completely. No, well, there is another account. Oh, goodness. I can't. I'm so sorry. I can't think of her name. Um, I think she might do something like this, but... Um, uh, I haven't seen her post about, like, pu punching holes in leather. That's why I'm particularly putting this part. And I haven't seen about putting aspects of doing tooling on leather with Cricut and cutting out the whole pattern with Cricut um, all at once. So that's part of why I'm doing this. So, I, so again, here's my thoughts so far with tools. I have not done, oh gosh, I think it's called brandishing. Again, sorry for the lighting. I was having problems getting privacy <laughs> right now. But, um, so again, I don't, I, I'm going to give my final thoughts when I'm done with this prod, this whole, uh, project. But so far, I kind of regret the time I spent so far putting, you know, the dots that I ultimately used to draw again at the begin the first, um, this project was placed onto three sheets. I, again, uploaded, I bought a, a pattern changed it with Inkscape to .png, uploaded the PNG image. Thankfully, the um, artist who created the pattern had the first page like, hey, here's how to put all the paper sheets together. And I was like, wonderful. That's all I need to upload is just this one, um, this one page. Otherwise, you can do multiple ones. Um, and uh, so I put all these, I spent so much time putting these dots over it um, where the, the artist had placed dots. I ended up choosing to draw after seeing another YouTuber who I can't remember her name. No, this doesn't help, but she's British. She tried various ways of having uh, Cricut put holes in leather. And again, I'm not talking about whole, uh, faux leather. Uh, if you go back to my last project where I did a series of videos, it was... Um, that mask that I ended up using faux leather, it was quite easy to put holes with the standard um, blade with Cricut, and I highly recommend that. It, it was it was great, totally worth it. Um, but for for leather, not so easy. Okay, sorry. On to tools. Okay, so again, I'm going to give my final idea if I think it was a good idea or not to ha to draw the holes on. Um, I mean, it was helpful for placing of this. I'm not so sure I would get that otherwise, unless I had to like print out the whole pattern and I would have had to make that the exact size. So again, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I, I am not sure yet. So for these, for like this shape, it was overall quite helpful. Um, and for the, this square in the middle, it was quite helpful. Um, yeah. And I, you know what, even, even for this, um, Okay, anyhow, so let's talk. Ab so this I bought for the um, for the mask, but I didn't ultimately, I ended up just using Cricut, but this is a leather hole puncher I got from Amazon. I ended up choosing either between the standard or heavy punch, and I was like, well, guess I'll pay an extra few bucks for the heavy punch in case I need that, because it's okay to be, if it's like too much oomph, but it's a problem if it's not enough. Um, and I don't know which size I'm supposed to use. Or, I mean, sometimes the artist recommends, so I would recommend following that. Um, I, and I'm not recommending any... I'm recommending types of products, but not specific ones in this regard because I'm so new. And because I haven't tried anything else. Um, but I'll give more thoughts if I... And I hopefully do get to do more projects. At first, I bought this... It was like you could buy this together, these like diamond. Oh, I forgot to get the little hammer thingy. I'm going to pause and go get that in a moment. But, um, so it was like diamond holes and I was like, I don't know what that means, but okay. All right. So what it means is, uh, it's not circle holes. And the artist who I bought this from 
um, you know, has little circles all over. And in his wonderful video, and I say that with zero sarcasm, I really have enjoyed his, his the videos of him showing how he makes things out of, crafts things out of leather with his patterns. Um, you know, he, he punches and he makes it look easy and fun. Um, I mean, not, I mean, he's obviously extremely skilled, but, um, he, it looks like it's all circle punches and not these diamonds. Um, I guess I'm not familiar with what that would be for, but I bought these and, and at first in, okay, here, I hope it shows here. Um, at first I used the diamond puncher for this one. And as you can see, the little, um, circles that I drew on there didn't even uh, draw on exactly correct. And I think this was an issue of me not aligning the exact piece of the, um, like I had to cut out the piece of the circles and cut out the piece of the cut part. And I tried to, and I, uh, what's the word? People who are familiar with design space, which is the Cricut software will know what I'm talking about. It's called um, Attach. I attached them like the, but I guess I didn't attach it all that well. Cause Hey, but, um, I tried to, and if I turn it around, hopefully you'll see better. So I, I think I did. Okay. I did. Um, after I realized I really didn't like the look of this diamond punch, um, I purchased these circle punches. I didn't realize it didn't come with one punch by itself. And I'll show you where that was, <laughs> where I could have really used that over there. Um, oh, and I need to add punches. Um, to some of these, but if you turn it around and look, okay, so yeah, I guess this is a good one to look at because this is the one I did first with the diamond and I was like, mm, not impressed. So it, it was real tiny. Also, I was using a hammer I had at home instead of the hammer I purchased. And then I added, you know, the circle ones. Ooh, super not perfect. Let me show a different one. But I had, um, uh, that was the, this was the only one thus far that I had punched with the diamond punches, in case you're not sure what I'm talking about. Wait, which one is it? Yeah, okay. So, all right, if you look at the very top, do you see the little tiny, it's like a line instead of a circle? Not, in my opinion, very attractive, not what I'm going for. Um, so I guess <laughs> I'll put this piece somewhere you can't see it that well, and I'm really counting on, um, the purple stain I bought covering this up, <laughs> covering up those, you know, pink marker, because I've heard using alcohol to remove the marker, uh, not, not awesome for the leather. So I rather, I don't think I should do that. Um, okay. So here's one where I actually used, I used this hole puncher to punch in the hole since I could reach it and I'm turning it around so you can see better because it didn't align perfectly but um like I mean the pink dots didn't align perfectly so if anything it kind of tripped me up I mean it helped me understand how many holes I should do um and also well the thing is because I had this pattern and it was recommended it either be a small Boston bag or a large Boston bag um and I uploaded the PDF pattern that I purchased of the small Boston bag. And then I sized it so I could cut everything out on Cricut. Because, hey, that's what I'm going for. I'm like, can I make a machine do some things so I don't have to do it by hand? That was kind of my goal and thing. So I spent more time with the, you know, technology. It, honestly, it might have been around the same amount of time had I done it by hand. However, should I ever want to do another one? Well, guess what? Um... Unless design space gets rid of the uh, projects I have uploaded, which I wouldn't put past it, but hasn't happened on the permanent so far. Um, uh, I will be able to make this again and then just have to do all the steps I'm, I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, like did not align. The pink parts did not align. So yeah, that tripped me up. But um but yeah, it pretty much, it, you know, if you turn around, and I did punch it this way, looking at this side, you know, but, um, you know, I think it did okay. And these bottom ones, I ended up cutting with the, the hole punch. And I'm going to, gosh, it really stinks not having a GoPro. Um, let's see. I want to show you. See, I didn't, I only used the diamond punch in this. And it's, it's not great. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use my hole puncher. And I'll, I'll poke some holes in there. Just a moment. 
Okay, so I'm back. I punched a couple holes. All right. Um, so, and, I, and this is not all the pieces. Um, as I'm going through this, you know, I, I definitely like watched the whole video and I saw, oh, I'm not going to have to, there's like three pieces I am not going to have to stain because they're used um, to help add uh, like, you know, like form and body to the, um, to the bag. And they are not, um, you know, like they're not ever going to be visible or on the outside. Like one is a way that this artist has chosen to uh, add you know, like density uh, to the weight of the handle. Um, I think I've seen in another video, sometimes there's like inserts that people use and maybe I'll explore those if I have the privilege of time to, well, yeah, time and money for materials and time and space and priority <laughs> to make it, you know, hopefully make start, you know, start and carry through and complete another bag. And I'll try to document that process for myself and anyone else who wants to watch. Oh, yes. So, okay. So check it out. Uh, yeah, I tried the diamond boo so far on that for me maybe there's great purposes but not that i have found for the purposes of this bag these um circular ones i think there was like uh it was like the the amazon like rec like i don't know prime choice or something but honestly i i wish i had gotten one that oh and they're okay so on this artist's um facebook group do you have to like you have to buy a like a design to, to join, or, you know, to be able to join, by the way, uh, Diesel Punk Row, um, you know, uh, they recommended, oh, uh, they should be six millimeters apart and 1.5 millimeters in, I don't know, like, I guess, diameter. Um, so, I, you know, it didn't say how many you know, how big each of these, I don't know, I guess, prongs or punches are. Um, this one did not, so these are six millimeters apart and they're round because again, I, so far I'm not a fan of the diamond one, but it didn't come with a one by itself punch. And I, I wish it, it, it did. Um, and again, the, the hole punch was great for these things. That was no problem, but it was a problem for this. Okay. So hopefully it'll look okay. Or I think what's going to happen Oh, I hope that looks all right. I think it's going to be like this, you know? So when I, after I, what's it called? Barnish the leather and dye it. It's going to be like that. And that's going to hold on the handles. And there's, there's two more. This is definitely not all the pieces. All right. I'm going to pause, go get the hammer and this little, I don't know what you call it. Cutting board thing I got and show you all. Again, I am not recommending. I don't have recommendations so far. I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts as I go along. I hope I will finish all this through and uh, I'll give you recommendations toward the end. Okay. Oh gosh, I just filmed part of the room. Whatever. Okay. So other stuff I, I used. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know. It's just this, this plastic thing. When I mean Amazon's like, oh, you're looking at leather things. Maybe you want this. I, sometimes people talk about using marble, um, and I guess the concern is, oh, it could, you know, if you don't hammer over a thing, it could like damage, like these thing, the tools, like this thing, I guess. Um, however, I, I don't, I don't get how I honest. I'm just so new at this, you know. Um, I just, I, I would think if anything, marble could damage, but I, I don't know. Um, the artist who made this bag had a video about recommending tools, but those are for like super serious people who, you know, doing this for a living and, you know, because I, uh, again, I hope I follow through with this. I think I will. Usually if I'm this invested, I do. Um, it's just hard for it to happen all at once. Um, you know, I, I don't want to, I want to invest in things that will work. But I, I think it would be unwise of me to go for like, oh, the best one, you know, so I'm going for like, okay, and works, and is going to work for me. So I got this one. It's a, uh, I think they called it, I don't remember if they said utility hammer. I don't know. But um, it had 
like these different heads you can switch around. I honestly don't know if I was supposed to use the brass or switch to, I don't know what this is, like plastic or something. I don't know what this is. But um, I'm not sure if I was supposed to switch them because when I looked up hammers for leather working, they had a lot of ones that are like for, you know, doing tooling. Like, you know, again, this is tooling. There's much fancier, more intricate tooling than this, obviously. And it was for stuff like that that people are hammering by hand. It's like, I'm, I'm, not that, I'm not that good. And I really, I guess my interests are lying in, you know, trying to, you know, use my, the Cricut and eventually what I'd like to do maybe when I try another one of these or maybe the next design um, is using my, sew, you know, my sewing machine too to, instead of doing this hand stitching, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm learning more about this. I, you know, I don't recall if I have machine sewed leather before. Um, I think the only times I've sewed leather, it has been hand. Um, but I know it's possible. I know my machine will do it. So anyhow, yeah. Uh, but the hammer that the artist who made this bag recommended had brass involved. And it was a good weight. This is a good weight. And it has brass. Again, in this one, it's like, oh, you can use this for different things. Oh, God, goodness, it does. Like, you can screw it off. I was just doing that without meaning to. So yeah, those are other tools that I've gotten. And by the way, I know this is super common sense, but hammering is loud. So <laughs> I, you know, got done little by little outside. Um, and I was like, you know, just trying to be cognizant of my neighbors and tried to do it like during, you know, waking hours before, you know, people would be <laughs> trying to, you know, put their kids who go to bed at the earliest bedtimes to sleep. Thankfully, no one uh, complained. Possibly I've annoyed some people, but at least it was during typical waking hours. Okay, so that ended up being way longer than I thought it would be. But th those are my thoughts on tools. Um, and if, if anyone has ideas or pointers for me or, you know, oh, oh my goodness, meowsers, you like, I really don't think what you did was a good idea. Like, I am open to that feedback, <clears throat> Laura, because <clears throat> she's good with leather, no press. <laughs> um, yeah, so learning, you know, just learning and, and having fun along the way. And hopefully I'll make something that's at least pretty okay at the end. Thank you all. Thanks for anyone who's watched all this. I don't usually say this, but, you know, if anyone wants to, like, who's not subscribed, wants to do me a solid and subscribe, I'd sure appreciate it. And I hope whether you do or not, you all have a great day. Thank you.